tennis court. Hi, friends. Hey. <laughs> Just getting a little caught up on my uh, better okay. homes and gardens because, you know, one of my favorite locals is featured in the uh, magazine because she's amazing. She took a home that's 1,195 square feet. Math, that's less than 1,200 square feet. Hooked it up. And what? because you're so brilliant, Better Homes featured you. So here's what I want to know. I'm on the show more. <laughs> <laughs> the ideas you come up with are fantastic. Like, take a look over there, uh, just to the west of the pool there. LOL on the fence. Ah, uh, I love it. You have to laugh out loud. You and do. you will to the west when you the get pool. this little bar cart. <laughs> okay. Right. So okay. You, you're saying zhuzh it up when okay. you have guests coming over, right? Yeah, we love a bar cart. Yeah. Um, not only for the function, but it's a really pretty decorative element. Yeah. I have one in my house. And, you know, with 1,200 square feet, you don't have a lot of space right. for decoration. And we drink a lot, so <laughs> why not combine the two? Um, but it also can be really pretty for children's parties and okay. non-alcohol. So you yes. don't have to be a big drinker. Absolutely. Um, we, Let's start putting some stuff okay. together. So you, you, you pulled some certain things okay. for certain reasons, right? Yes. So whenever you're doing a styling job, you, yeah. it's basically a collection of objects. Okay. Um, I like to look at styling as something of a cityscape. Different okay. textures, different colors, okay. different, you know, different heights. Right. So, bar books. Yeah. And you kind of want a theme for your bar cart. My bar cart inside is a little bit masculine, okay. and so we decided to do something kind of opposite and do a really pretty, fun, feminine bar cart. Beautiful. Flowers, yes. greenery, yes. succulents, any kind of life. Okay. Bring some life. Obviously, we need some glassware. Duh. Duh. <laughs> we got these really beautiful anthropology wine glasses with a pretty brass detail. Yes. You cannot forget the rosé. Rosé. Rosé all day. <laughs> And then again, just pretty layering objects. Okay. You know, we've got well, that's fun. a little marble and brass. Yes. We've got some lemons because you might want to use those in your cocktail. And that's a fun little pop of color too. Pop of color, mm -hmm. bottle opener. Okay. Don't forget the libations. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of a sucker for a pretty bottle. Uh. It might be horrible alcohol, I don't know, but the bottle is beautiful. <laughs> but it looks good. Exactly. Such a girl. And these are non-alcoholic, so oh, again, yeah. you can do something really pretty with a non-alcoholic version, these can make a great mixer. And then just a few seconds left, and then you add some some really pretty um, yep. glasses. Again, anthropology. Yep. Really beautiful decorative glasses. And look under those little straws. And then boom, voila! Oh, I love this. Boom! I You're love done. It. Dad got it. Genius! Gorgeous. We're gonna link her website to ours, GoodDaySacramento.com, okay. also her social media, because you want to follow her. I'm just saying, she's kind of a genius. Yeah. We knew her see first. That. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> we, Remember, we she dibs. worked with us on the she shit. Yeah. Oh, we call yeah. dibs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to know if that's a living space in the behind.